Hi, David Ono with Diamond King Realty, and uh, I'm going to share with you today the number one biggest, hands down, no question about it, the biggest mistake that you can make when trying to sell your house. And I'll get right to it. The worst thing you could possibly do when you put your home on the market is overprice it. Uh, you're going to be much better if you even underprice the house, but you want to get to the right price. And, and here's why you want to avoid overpricing your house. Um, I've got two reasons written on the board here. We're at a point in time, there's more information available to buyers than ever before. Okay, how much houses are, you know, what houses are selling for, like available on the market, um, how much houses have sold for, what's pending, all kinds of websites like Zillow, uh, Trulia, Realtor.com, um, many sites are publishing a lot of MLS data, uh, which is what traditionally only realtors have had access to. Now the other part that ties in with this is the fact that there's buyer agency. Now there's been buyer agency for a while, but you combine the two with buyer agency, with, with agents working on behalf of buyers more these days, and having more information available to the buyer, buyers won't even mess around with houses that are overpriced. They will get a preliminary list of houses, they throw the ones they think are overpriced and throw them right in the trash can. Because why even bother if that person has a house overpriced? So the biggest mistake you can do is sit there and think, well, I want to list it at this price. We'll see what happens for the first couple of weeks or so, and then we'll come down. That's You, you never want to be chasing the market and, and trying to follow those buyers to the right price. Always best to get right to the point where you think your house is going to sell so that when uh, buyers first see the house come on the market, they know they got to act fast, they got to get out there and look at the house quickly, they got to put an offer in fast, and they got to put a competitive offer in, otherwise they might miss out on it to other buyers. Um, otherwise, what you're doing, you're just missing out, you're, you're going to be chasing those buyers, like I said, and you're going to be uh, constantly lowering the price, and then it's just going to kind of get stale. So it's the number one thing you want to avoid. Uh, you never want to be chasing after. You want to be coming from a position of strength and you want to be telling buyers, hey, get to our house quickly, look at it, send me an offer today because I'm going to sell this thing immediately. That's the number one thing. Avoid doing that when you sell your house and you're going to be much happier in the long run. Thanks for watching the video. I'll talk to you soon.